the cell phones were found on the top shelf. Above that were two more laptops that were recovered by the sheriff's department. Electronics, chains, drug paraphernalia, just some of the things reportedly found in Jesse McFadden's house. Glad you're with us tonight at 9. I'm Sarah Whaley. And I'm Shay Rossi, the attorney who represents the family of one of the six victims in a mass murder-suicide, sent us these videos he feels could have been important evidence that investigators left behind. Fox 23's crime and safety reporter Abigail Dye joins us live after going through all of that video. Abby. Shay, Sarah, the Websters say that law enforcement left a lot of evidence in this house. And I will warn you, the video you're about to see may be disturbing to some viewers. This is the entrance of the front door, the living area. The grandmother of Ivy Webster walks us through the McFadden's home on Thursday. She had been in the house a day before and discovered several electronics. So she called investigators who she says came and took some, but not all of the evidence. These are the computers. There is a box of some sort. This is this is the master bedroom. Here you see a chain and hook device of some sort. Sheriff's Department just came out and collected the cell phone that was in this drawer. And sex toys left out in the open. There's a sex toy there in the master bedroom. This is the kitchen where he has a mounted lock bolt. And more items left out in the open. There is collars, there is lube. Including paraphernalia. While that may be off-putting to some, what really disturbs Ivy's family. With two more computers. Are the electronics left behind? This is the room where the cell phones were found on the top shelf. Above that were two more laptops that were recovered by the sheriff's department. On Wednesday, Okmulgee Police Chief Joe Prentice told us they only found two phones. We recovered one phone from the residence that we believe is Holly's. We recovered pieces of a phone from a wooded area. The lawyer representing the Websters said in a statement, no words can express this family's fear that the sexual assault of their baby girl has been placed on the dark web and demanded that law enforcement seize all electronics from the house. Now, the Muskogee County District Attorney Carol Iskey is the one overseeing the task force that's investigating this mass murder suicide. Coming up at 10, we'll hear from her as to what she has to say about the claims that this investigation is botched. Live in Henrietta, covering news that matters, I'm Abigail Dye, Fox 23 News.